Greetings and welcome back everyone to Dapperdale Farm in Stardew Valley. As you can see, I've brought you back having already watered all of our plants. We've got a gold star strawberry and six green beans. Let's uh, just double check. Do I actually need that for anything? I would hope I don't. Uh, jelly. Now I believe... Can I not make something for that? No, I can't. Okay, that's cool then. Uh, I can make a tapper, 40 wood, 2 copper. I can make a bee house if I had an iron bar. I could get an earth crystal, I could make a mayonnaise machine, though there's not really any point for me to make a mayonnaise machine at the moment. With an iron bar, I could make a sprinkler. And with bug meat, I could make bait. Okay, well, there's a few things that we could do today then. Deeper in the mines and raising animals are still fairly high priorities. And honestly, I would really, really like to get a coop at the moment. So, why don't I go ahead and gather up all of my um, wood. I'm going to go ahead and head over to pick up our equipment that should, I hope, be ready at this point. We will then swing by Robin's place. I should have actually gone up around Robin's place. There's a little bit of a faster route there. But uh, swing up to Robin's area. Find out how much I'm going to need for a coop. Also, I may investigate the possibilities of building a silo. I want to, to check out my options before anything else. We do have enough money at the moment to pretty much do what we want right now. I'm tempted. Tempted to go and buy a new fishing pole. Capitalize on the fact that I don't tend to have too much trouble with fishing. You've received a copper pickaxe. Wonderful. Let's have a look at this. Used to break stones. Well, that is true. Yes. Okay, we'll leave the hole. Well, actually, we'll pop the hole there for now. What don't we need here? We don't need our produce. That may be given out to someone as a gift in the very near future. But... Hmm, let's go and check how much a chicken coop and also a silo. Ultimately, I want to build the silo first. Long before I build the chicken coop. Because we're going to need the silo so that we can start uh, stockpiling. Oh, hello. What are you off to? Aren't you cold? They don't make sweaters like they used to. Uh, no, I rarely feel the cold. But uh, I would like to check out the cost of the coop and also the silo. I want the silo first since I want to start building up a hay supply for my chickens. Ultimately, it would be better for them to just eat grass. However, that might not always be an available option for us. Hello, Robin. Let's have a chat, you and I. I hope Demetrius doesn't blow the house up with those science experiments of his. Yeah, I hope so too. It would suck to be homeless. Right. Construct farm buildings. 4,000 gold. 300 wood, 100 stone. Yeah, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Barn, even more. A well, 1,000 gold. Quite a tameable amount of stone there. Uh, ooh, 10 clay, 5 copper bars, allows you to cut and store grass for feed. That's what we ultimately want. A stable 10,000 gold. Which, that boggles my bloody mind, but okay. Right, well, now we know we need clay and we also need some copper. That is a bit of a pain, I'll be perfectly honest with you. That is a bit of a pain. But you know what? I think we're going to go down, we're going to pick up a fishing rod and then we're gonna head into the mines I think that's where we're heading right now hello how are you doing hey what you want to talk to me I'm busy well as it happens uh, I didn't bring along those boots I'm not gonna wear those those trainers so I was going to give them to you but since you're a bit of a jerk no I'll probably still try to give them to you later on though but Right now, you can wallow in self-pity, for you have lost the opportunity to have my trainers. Unused, no less. It's kind of less of a gift if you're giving them used trainers. Right, let's jump in here and see how much that crazy fiberglass fishing pole is going to set us back a lot, in a nutshell. Uh, you know what? I will take some bait. Causes the fish to bite faster. Must first be attached. Simply because I want to see what this is like. Right, okay. Bamboo pole, you did as well. But no more. We 
Let's attach the bait. Is there some way? Haha! -ha! There we go. Right click. Very well. Let's see how this goes. Oh, it's not a, not a max. Oh well. Really? Okay, we haven't lost that bit. Uh, you used your last piece of bait. Ah, oh, damn it! Scallywax. <sighs> Use my bait on a piece of bloody seaweed. And no, I'm not going to give it to someone as a gift. I've learned my lesson with the algae. Come on. There we go. Really? I've been sold a defective pole. My lord. Oh well. Right, well we're going to make a beeline up to the cave. And see what it is that we can do. Along the way we might uh, pass some of our neighbours. May have a little bit of a chat. I've not seen anyone really go to the graveyard. I'm a little bit surprised by that. Hello Evelyn. It's nice to be so close to the ocean. The sounds of the sea makes going to sleep a lot easier. That is very true. Hello, Abigail. Oh, man. I've been pushing off my homework all weekend. Looks like I'll pull be pulling another all-nighter. Well, that's not so bad. Now, I imagine those are hardwood trees. And no, before anyone even thinks to suggest it, I won't chop that tree down. I flat out refuse. Even if I had the ability to, I would not chop that tree down. Unless I was guaranteed to get more than one um, seed as a result. Then, I might actually do it. Can I chop this down? Yes, I can. Goodbye, pity parlors. There we go. Fantastic. Pinecone. We will actually be planting that. Now, I'm not sure other than, you know pine sap, what we'd actually use pine sap for if we put a tap onto one of those trees, but uh, I'd be interested to find out. Okay, what are we going to find down here? Let's start chopping. Nice. Very nice. Can I chop that? Ah, oh, fantastic. One chop on those large rocks now. Can we charge this up? No. It is just flat out a more powerful pickaxe. That's all it is. Doesn't have any special attack mode. Which is a bit of a shame, actually. In uh, Harvest Moon and, and I believe Animal Crossing, you tended to get even the axes and the pick and the hammers and things like that would have leveled up abilities, which was pretty cool. Missing a trick there, I feel. They were stronger, but also you had extra modes of using them. There we, there we go. That's our way down. You know what? We're not going to mess around with anything else. We're just going to go down. Uh, I am going to chomp on this snack, though. There we go. Oh, fantastic. Just two hits to get this. We should now be able to uh, go through our field and get rid of a lot of the larger rocks as well. And gathering rocks while we're down here is also a good thing to do. You know what? Pop that down. Okay. Take it back. No, 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 no. Take it back up. There you go. No reason to leave that there. Oh dear. No! I refuse! Go away! Ouch! I said I refuse! Ah, oh, you scallywags. Take that. And that. And that. This also. Also that. This. Ow! Oh, damn it! We were a little bit too slow on the this. It's always my problem. The this is confound me. Grab you. We'll drop down a torch right there. Maybe even one down here as well, just so we can see what we're doing. So I wouldn't mind grabbing this. I do not want to play. I really don't. Why why do you insist? What did I do to you, other than kill your brethren? Maybe one of them was actually your mother. I don't know. If so, I do apologize. But they attacked me. Mother or no mother? Can't just go around attacking random passers-by. It's not kosher. Well, actually, it might be kosher. I don't know. I can't claim anything to be or not be kosher, but I can say it's not dapper with some degree of authority. There we are. Let's see. There we are. Okay. I like the boxes. But 
boxes specifically have a chance of having some sort of awesome thing inside. Unfortunately, not in this case. And I actually want the bug meat here. Ooh, what on earth are you? No, no, absolutely not. Don't know what you are, but I don't want to find out either. Oh dear. Oh dear. What are you becoming? Oh, I see. Oh, so those things are probably on the level and just hatch over time. Ah, that's interesting. Actually, very interesting. Nope. 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 Be gone. Thank you. Oh, damn it. Uh, okay. We're going to eat the cookies. Please don't be poisonous. Okay. Our mother may not have actually been killed by a Terminator after all. But it does beg the question when she signed the letter Mom. Still suspicious. Perhaps not Terminator, maybe Pod Person. Not sure which one would be better, honestly. Damn it. Have I already come across the stairs up? Either way, we need a lot of stone, so it doesn't actually uh, bother me. Stairs down, I meant to say as well. Ooh, minecart. Really? Already? Be gone. Oh, my timing was terrible there. Oh, stay down. However, I really do like this gigantic rock. Get you. We'll be back to that stairs in just a moment. But I want to find out what's possibly at the end of this railway. Now, I have been told that you can actually refine quartz. Although the furnace says ore specifically, someone did give me a heads up saying, look, I... It's because it says or that you may never try it because it goes against the instructions, but you can, in fact, put quartz in there as long as you've got five of them in the same way and it will give you refined quartz. So thank you very much for that because I really wouldn't have trusted it. Ooh, yes, I accept. Critical hit. Very good. Come on. Damn it. You've got a much further reach than I suspected. Hello, slime. Now, we want more quartz. And more copper, honestly. Never going to turn our nose up at copper. Though, you are actually starting to become very annoying. Oh, actually, I take it back. That was quite useful. Free bait. I want all of this coal, please. Really? Please stop. I wish to go and kill your young. This is very inconsiderate of you getting in my way. There we go. Nope. Sorry. Well, actually, I'm not. That's a lie. There we go. Anything else of interest down here? No, not really. Okay, we're leaving. We're going to go up to the stairs that we've already uncovered. We only need two more levels at this point, and we unlock a new lift. There we go. Ah, Scalawags. Oh dear. So slow. There we go. Right, I need to eat something. I've got to have something that I can eat. Uh, actually, seaweed. Eat. Yes. It's not going to give us much energy, but it'll give us a tiny bit. There we go. Well, what's the time? Time is getting on. Aha! Doesn't matter. We found. Ooh. What on earth is that? What? Steel small sword? Received a steel small sword. Let's check this out. Four to eight damage plus two speed. Yes, please. Flat upgrade. I approve. Oh, so somewhere we can we can actually uh, fish down here. That's pretty awesome. I imagine we'll get some very special fish down here. But we flat out need to run away now. Time is not on our side anymore. Well, that was a good uh, good run though. I feel. I think we got quite a lot done. Land this little fire over there. I should, uh, you know what? I think this shrine deserves some light. I should make a point of that. Just go around the place, light up the shrines. We are going to... Are those the little worms? No, they're just plants. But uh, we're going to make our way back to the farm as quickly as we can. To avoid anything bad happening. Generally, if you leave by around 11, you, you are going to be okay. But it can be a bit of a close one. 
you can have two lights there as well. You know what? I need to uh, light up this path in a general sense as well. Okay, right. What do I want to drop off in here? Uh, it's not that. Um, let's see. We want to get rid of these. So I can just do this. There we are. I want to get rid of all of those. And... Uh, that's really about it. I actually want to keep everything else. So it's not going to be a very good day today, but it uh, won't be completely a waste. We're going to want to take those with us. These can stay there with the sneakers along with that sword as well. They'll be spares in case we die in the mines. Apparently, if you die in the mines, you do lose a lot of stuff, which is kind of rubbish. Um, actually, these need to come out with us. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into bed. And have a nice bit of a snooze. Okay. Night, night. Level 2 combat. Nice. Plus 5 HP and new crafting recipe. Life elixir. Fantastic. We actually made 240 on farming. I was uh, I was not expecting to make that much. Very nice indeed. Okay. Now let's see what the day has in store for us. What's the weather going to be like tomorrow? It is going to be cloudy with a light breeze. Expect lots of pollen. Oh, that's actually not so great. I would have preferred rain. Uh, the only show where the voice of the spirits is channeled directly to you. The spirits are mildly perturbed today. N luck will not be on your side. Okay, not a good day to go to the mine. And then, living off the land. Get your hands on a fishing pole and sell your catch. Fishing is a great way to make a little extra cash when you have some downtime. The distance your bobber lands from any dry land determines what kinds of fish you'll hook, as well as the location, season, time of day, and, of course, the weather. Ooh, I hadn't actually thought about the weather being a, a factor in it. Dwarf Scroll 2. That's just an artifact. The Yellow Scroll of Parchment filled with Dwarven script. This one's tied with a red bow. You know what? I'm going to keep one. I feel that uh, selling those on may not be the, the smartest thing. I'm wondering, because there's different types of scrolls. I'm assuming sc Dwarf Scroll 1, Dwarf Scroll 2, 4, 5, 6, 20 maybe. And maybe if we get them all, we can make them into a book or something. That's a massive guess on my part, but uh, still. Uh, we're going to grab all of these and we're going to make one field snack. Yum. We oh, wow, we can make a lot of bait. That is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. You gads. Okay. Um, we're not going to make any cherry bombs. I don't think there's a point in that one. We've got 98 stone. We need a tiny little bit more. We also need clay. The clay is going to be the difficult part here. Um, Alright. That's good enough for me. Let's go and drop our stuff off out here. Got a little bit of something. We'll take you along. We will drop off all of these things for now. Actually, you're staying out because I'm going to be using you. But we are going to be using up a little bit of our stone today, unfortunately. We'll also drop these off there as well. Uh, the dwarf scroll can go ahead and be sold straight away. We don't need that. Let's just get rid of you straight away. There we go. And I would like you to be loaded up in there. Perfect. At this point, uh, I really am just feeling that I want to keep that strawberry, mostly because I'd like to turn a gold strawberry into something else. Ooh, actually, is it part of the quality crops? No, that's a shame. That would have been rather awesome, in my opinion. If we can get a quality parsnip, I don't think we can, actually. Oh, that's a shame. I didn't even think of that. Balls. Four days. Ooh. Actually, we might be able to do it. It'll be a close one. But parsnips mature in only four days. So we could potentially get that done. Well, I'm going to go ahead and water the crops. And then I will bring you back when we're done. And then we'll decide what we're going to be doing with the rest of the day. Ah, always the way. You run out of water on the last bloody tile you need to water. How frustrating. Uh, actually, it's not really the last tile, because I think I need to go up here and uh, put a little bit of water in the dog's bowl as well. But we've started to make a dent on our copper supplies, which I'm very pleased with. Let's go ahead and drop off the copper bars in here. We've got four potatoes, a, ooh, a golden vegetable there, not a golden parsnip 
alas, that is a, quite the shame. But we've got a fair bit of produce here, if nothing else, and I'm very, very glad about that. So, let's go ahead and drop off these into the bin here. So, that's going in there as well. So, it's the parsnip, so are all of the potatoes. Uh, nothing else is going to be dropped in there for now. I'm going to drop off my watering can, though, in the chest, and then we are going to head out to hopefully pick up some more parsnips. We've got, um, looks like we've got exactly four tiles that we can put parsnips on. I would appreciate you getting those as soon as possible. And then we may be able to get at least one golden parsnip out of that batch. If we can, then that means we will have the first of the quality crops that we need. I'm assuming that it's one crop from every season is needed for that bundle so it's going to be a long uh, a long uh, goal that one we're going to have to be waiting for at least a full year hello there gus i'm getting some supplies for the saloon pierre's got the good stuff oh well done gus well done i love animals mr avak if you treat yours well i'm sure we'll become good friends how's it going pierre welcome if you're looking for seeds you come to the right place well, I am indeed looking for seeds. I would like four parsnips. Oh, you know what? I could just go crazy and just dump a lot of money into this. Um, go on. You deserve it. So there'll be nine. There we go. I'll take 20 off you. It's much more than I was expecting to spend, Pierre, but I want to support your shop here. Especially after that, all those shenanigans from Jojo Mart. Those scoundrels. We'll run them out of town sooner or later. I mean, I can't advocate violence against them. Or can I? No, I'm fairly certain I shouldn't. So I can't advocate violence against them, but... There are many more ways to skin a cat. Actually, there aren't generally to skin a cat. You just flat out have to take its skin off. There's, there's not really many more ways to do that than, than the obvious one. But, you know, as far as the saying goes. Right, okay. Now, we are going to need to prepare this area. We are also going to need some fertilizer. Let's go and grab that. Now that we've got our pickaxe, we can actually adjust everything around a little bit. Uh, I'm going to take these out and put them outside. I'm going to bring those along as well. Um... I think we're good there, honestly. I think we are, in fact, good. Right, what do I need for fertilizer? Sap. Perfect. Sap, you're coming with me. We want a golden parsnip. I don't care what we have to do to get one, but we want one. Unfortunately, this is going to be a little bit of extra work and, of course, watering. So I'm going to bring you back when all of these fields are hoed and planted. Oh, we've got a little bit of clay. But uh, I shall see you in a few moments. Okay, there we go. All our work is done and I'm bloody naked. Look at my energy. Oh, it's going to be good when we finally get a good watering can and we don't have to worry about that anymore. Uh, but at least we've got a field snack. Now, there are a few things that I want to do. As I mentioned, I was very dissatisfied with the way I placed the wall. Oh, I'm not getting the wall back. Well, that's just bloody annoying. Oh, well. But uh, I did want to try and pull that back a little bit there and have things centralized in here because that way I can do something like this and place down a bonfire right in the middle there, which I think will look really, really nice. I'll grab one of these. We obviously can't... Ow! Balls. Oh, no. There we are. We actually got that one back. Hmm. I wonder why we got, didn't get the other ones back. That's a bit bizarre. But what I would like to do is get ourselves a bonfire pit. There we are. Campfire. We need 10 fiber. How many? We need only 10 stones. So that, that's fine. And then we can have one of these right in the middle. And it'll look lovely, I think. Now, it's already in the afternoon for the day. Which I'm none too pleased about, I will confess. Ooh. New achievement, DIY. Fantastic. Oh. Ah, glorious. Don't catch my beanstalks on fire, please. Now, you may have noticed that there are quite a lot of tree um, 
saplings down, far more than I've actually planted myself, and it does seem that they'll just grow by themselves, so I'm quite happy with that. I don't know how grass propagates, though. I may have to just go around and, and plant grass. If so, my hope would be that the grass does not need... Ooh. Ah, oh, really? Damn. I was really expecting to be able to do that, but all right. But the my hope is that if I have have to plant the grass manually that I don't have to water it for it to grow because I want to plant a lot of grass down here and for no other reason than for aesthetics so I would rather not have to then pay the price of running around and uh, actually watering it until it grows to maturity that would kind of annoy but maybe I could pick the fall which would be a bit more of a rainy season I imagine okay that's good enough Slowly making progress. We now have enough stone for what we want. And I would like a couple of fence posts. I don't have any extra sap, which is a shame. But my plan is to pop down a fence post here or there through this little area. And every now and then, perhaps a fence post but there as well. We'll pop a torch on there, maybe another fence post down there, and we'll just have this little line of torches just running the whole way through. And I'm thinking maybe one more right there. About here, perhaps, with another fence post there. I think that'll look lovely. Slowly we'll have this little lit path through this overgrown forest area on our farm, and it will look gorgeous, I tell you. But we've got a ways to go before we get there. Now, all, all the shops are going to be closed, unfortunately. But we can still pop into town. At the very least, we can check on the calendar and see whose birthdays are coming up. And possibly just do a little bit of socializing, maybe. Hello there, Leah. Let's have a chat. The trees look nice today, don't they? So why did you become a farmer? I want to make tons of money. It's more real than living in the city. It's following Grandpa's footsteps. I wanted to escape my old life. Well, oh. these two are true. This one's possibly more what drove us to it, or rather what catalyzed us um, and, and really reset really us into into action. But this has more meaning to it, so we're going to say that. That's pretty much the reason I came here too. Ah, we have passed the test. Maha. Hey, farmer. I'm not farmer, damn it. Uh, and I didn't need to brandish my sword at you. I do apologize. <laughs> Did you know I was an all-star quarterback in high school? Uh, yeah, you told me, actually. Uh, let's go check on Maru and Penny. Hi. Oh, did you want something? Uh, apparently not. Whenever I'm struggling with a technical problem, I always take a walk. Yes, yes. Uh, hmm don't really have anything I want to give as a gift, to be perfectly honest. So what we might do is just pop up to the calendar. Check that out. Hello, Shane. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Shane, I know you are going to be a nice person eventually. Ah, that was my opportunity there. The flower dance. Yeah, we're not. We're not going to be dancing with anyone. It's just flat out not going to be happening. And so you can, you can abandon that that fantasy right now but this is where we're going to be harvesting our parsnips and this will be about where i think it's the 27th we'll be harvesting our potatoes i believe but uh, emily's birthday and pierre's birthday coming up i'm gonna to have to have a think on that what i can possibly get for them but it is pretty bloody late if you ask me um we've got a fair chunk of cash though i could afford to pop into the saloon Maybe buy myself uh, some food from Gus. So once again, support such a nice guy. Um, this time though, it's only only 50 energy there. Uh, I like that. But I think, oh, spaghetti is really tempting. I do like spaghetti. Um, interesting. Actually, the salad is by far one of the better ones to go for. Coffee, it gives you extra speed. Lucky lunch. Plus three luck. Special little meal. Hmm, maybe. No. No, let's just go for spaghetti. Thank you very much, Gus. That'll do just fine. 
Let's have a chat, though. Hi there, Abak. I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. How about you, Emily? Have I told you that Haley and I are sisters? Strange, isn't it? Um, I wouldn't say stranger than anything else, honestly. All right, there we go. Om nom nom nom. If you didn't know, that's one of my favorite meals, is spaghetti bolognese. So that was a rare treat. Now, we are going to go off and we're going to spend the remainder of our day fishing by the ocean. Probably late into the early hours. Um, actually, we'll go to the pier over here. Maybe see if we can't pick up some shells. Oh, no, there's an urchin. Oh, and some more coral. Fantastic. So a little bit of extra to go into our produce bin. Which may recover some of the money that we just spent. Ah, this is going to be the life. Oh, not Max. Now, we do have bait. Quite a lot of bait on this, so we should be fine. And every time we go into the mine, we're going to get more. Really? Well, scoundrels. Ever since I got this bloody rod, I'm not getting any good good fish. Aha! Got something. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, oh, you're a tricksy one. You are moving very fast. Damn it. Oh, you really tricked me there. Oh, da. That was a hard fight, actually. An 18 inch halibut. Very well. That was genuinely a hard fight. That one did not want to get caught. I think the last time we got a halibut was hard as well. Probably another halibut uh, is my guess here. Okay. We're going to be going for that. Nope. Oh, come on. Need a little. Ah, that's right. Stay there. Aha! Fantastic. Thank you very much, fish. Whatever you may be. Another halibut. 19 inch. Ooh, what do we get? Extra bait. Thank you very much. Donk. Oh, apparently not. Donk. There we go. Max. Let's see what we get with this. Uh, we're getting a little bit low on energy, but nothing we need to worry about at the moment. And I can always eat the seaweed that we just got as well. We can actually eat the fish raw, too. Oh, this might not be the halibut. It's not moving the same way. We almost had a perfect with this one. There we go. Two failures in trying to get that perfect. Who's a herring? There we are. I will probably start going for the river fish in a little bit. Because I feel that I've got a handle on the ocean fish. Another herring. How much room we got? Oh, we got wow, we actually got two silver halibuts. We are probably going to get a fairly good return on our investment of time here. That's probably going to bring us in a decent amount of money. <sighs> really? That literally is trash. It's not even pretending to be something else. It's like, oh yeah, broken spectacles. Oh, smash CD. Oh, you know, soggy newspaper. No, no, this is actually just trash. There's no denying it. You do not want this item. Ah, damn it. I thought you were going to go down and you went up. Oh, you scoundrel, you. Sneaksy little herring. Rather fitting, actually. Oh, how long are we going to be here for? This will probably be the last one because our energy is fairly low. Ooh, this is probably a halibut because it was straight off the moment we started. Ooh, this is actually hard. Come on. That's right. Oh, no, 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 no. Damn it. Losing progress. Oh, you scoundrel, you. Bound to be a halibut. Yeah. I'm starting to learn your patterns, you tricksy fish. But not good enough to avoid my lure. Not that I'm using a lure, I'm just using a hook with some bait. Perhaps we could actually get some lures, and that will help even further. Maybe that'll come with some extra levels in fishing. But it is time now to return. Hmm, maybe drop by the saloon, maybe give someone a fish. Uh, maybe. Does anyone actually want a fish? I very much doubt anyone wants a You know what, Gus? You might want a fish. So you can have a fish. You can maybe turn it into some delicious stew. You can have a herring. A good quality herring, no less. There you go. No, no, no. Ah, Not a fan of fish, Gus? I caught that one. And it was like one of my better ones as well. Fresh fish. I just don't understand you people. For the record, I flat out would consider that a good gift. 
if someone I mean yeah it might be awkward if they just did it in the middle of a bar to be fair okay yeah I accept that but the thought would be very much welcome a fresh fish yeah I wouldn't turn that down right okay we need to drop off our produce for this day's work minus one herring or uh, three fairly good quality halibut, some trash as well, and some seaweed. Right, let's find out how much that earned us. There we go. Oh, come on, Snufkin. Right. We earned a whopping 340 on foraging and 367. <laughs> yeah, zero for the trash. May as well not even done anything. But they were worth 100 each. Very, very nice. The Dwarf Scroll was worth one. Really? I'm surprised by that. Very surprised by that. The Sea Urchin, 160. And for farming, 200 green beans, 360 for the potatoes. Eh, not too bad, all things told. But that's going to be it for this episode, I'm afraid. I hope you've enjoyed it. I did try to extend the episode a little bit more with two days rather than one. Do let me know in the comments below whether you think that's a good thing going forward or whether you'd rather me stick to one day per episode. But until next time, do take care.